Welcome to Two Projects. In this video, we are going to explain the project Multiple Types of Cancer Classification Using CT or MRI Images Based on Learning Without Forgetting Powered Deep Learning Models. Introduction Cancer stands as the second leading cause of mortality worldwide, responsible for approximately one in every six deaths. This staggering statistic underscores the urgent need for innovative approaches to combat this pervasive disease. Early detection has emerged as a pivotal factor in improving cancer survival rates. Timely identification enables prompt intervention, significantly enhancing treatment outcomes and patient prognosis. Leveraging the capabilities of artificial intelligence presents a promising avenue for revolutionizing cancer detection. By automating the process and augmenting human capabilities, AI has the potential to expedite evaluation processes while maintaining high accuracy levels. So this project aims to harness the power of AI-based deep learning models, specifically convolutional neural networks for the classification of cancerous traits in medical images. With a focus on eight types of cancer, including lung, brain, breast, and cervical cancer, the project evaluates the efficacy of transfer learning using pre-trained CNN variants such as MobileNet, VGGNet, and DenseNet. Object of the project. So as I already mentioned, the aim is to create and deploy sophisticated machine learning algorithms, particularly convolutional neural networks, tailored to analyze medical images for cancer detection. The goal is to establish a robust computational framework capable of accurately identifying cancerous traits within CT or MRI images. And the goal is to assess the performance of pre-trained CNN models, including MobileNet, VGGNet, and DenseNet, when adapted to classify various types of cancer in medical images. This evaluation aims to determine the suitability and effectiveness of transfer learning for cancer detection tasks. And the objective is to investigate the integration of learning without forgetting, that is LWF, into the training process to enhance the adaptability of deep learning models. This exploration seeks to ensure that the models retain their ability to accurately classify cancerous traits while learning from new data, addressing challenges related to knowledge transfer and model adaptability. And the objective also includes systematically testing the developed models, evaluating their performance across different cancer types and analyzing the results. So through rigorous experimentation, we gather empirical evidence to support the superiority of the proposed approach compared to existing methodologies. Requirements needed to execute this project are software requirements, software needed is Anaconda, primary language used is Python, front-end framework used is Flask, back-end framework used is Jupyter Notebook, database used is SQL Lite 3, and front-end technologies used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements needed are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, and hard disk of 25 GB and above. Now we'll discuss the working modules of flow of work. So the first step is important required packages. The initial step involves importing essential Python libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, and TensorFlow Keras. Pandas facilitates data handling tasks, NumPy supports numerical operations, Matplotlib aids in data visualization, and TensorFlow Keras provides tools for building and training deep learning models. These packages are crucial for data pre-processing, model building, and analysis in the subsequent stages of the project. The second step is exploring the dataset. Following package importation, the dataset containing medical images representing various cancer types is loaded and explored. Through Pandas, the dataset structure is examined, including its dimensions and attributes. Additionally, Matplotlib is utilized to visualize sample images, enabling a deeper understanding of the data distribution and characteristics. This exploratory phase lays the foundation for model development and training. The third step is training and building the model. Subsequently, deep learning models such as VGG16, VGG19, DenseNet 201, MobileNet V3 Small, and MobileNet V3 Large are trained and constructed using the loaded dataset. These models undergo rigorous training to learn features and patterns associated with different cancer types. Fine tuning techniques are applied to optimize model performance and accuracy. In the next step, as an extension to the project, 
the exception model is employed to enhance prediction accuracy further improving the overall performance of the trained models and as an extension again a user friendly interface is developed using the flask web framework enabling user interaction for cancer detection and user authentication features are integrated using sql lite for secure sign up and sign in functionalities after signing in users can upload medical images that is ct mri or microscopy images via the front end interface these images are pre processed and fed into the trained deep learning models for prediction and the final outcome indicating the detected cancer type is displayed to users through the front end interface facilitating seamless user experience and interpretation of results now we'll understand about the algorithms used so the first algorithm built is vgg16 that is visual geometry group 16 so vgg16 is a renowned deep convolutional neural network comprises 16 layers including 13 convolutional and 3 fully connected layers utilizing small convolutional filters and max pooling layers it learns hierarchical features from input images effectively its deep architecture enables capturing intricate patterns in medical images making it ideal for cancer classification Additionally, pre-trained weights availability facilitates efficient transfer learning, enhancing performance by leveraging features learned from datasets like ImageNet. The next algorithm built is VGG19. So VGG19 is a deep convolutional neural network architecture consisting of 19 layers, known for its simplicity and effectiveness in image classification tasks. It operates by sequentially stacking convolutional layers with small 3 by 3 filters followed by max pooling layers to down sample feature maps. This architecture enables VGG19 to learn intricate hierarchical features from input images capturing both low level and high level patterns. In this project VGG19 is chosen for its proven performance in image classification tasks and its ability to learn discriminative features from medical images making it suitable for accurately classifying cancerous traits in CT or MRI images. The next one is DenseNet 201. So DenseNet 201 is a deep learning model characterized by dense connectivity ensuring each layer receives input from all preceding layers. This architecture promotes feature reuse and facilitates gradient flow leading to more effective feature extraction. In the context of cancer classification using medical images, DenseNet 201's dense connectivity aids in capturing intricate patterns and subtle features, enhancing the model's ability to differentiate between different cancer types with high accuracy, making it a suitable choice for this project. The next algorithm built is MobileNet V3 Small. So MobileNet V3 Small is a lightweight variant of the MobileNet architecture optimized for efficient deep learning tasks. It employs depth-wise separable convolutions and linear bottlenecks to ensure high accuracy with minimal computational resources. Its compact size and computational efficiency make it ideal for deployment in resource-constrained environments like medical image classification. MobileNet V3 Small strikes a balance between accuracy and computational cost, aligning with the project's objective of efficient and accurate cancer classification. And the next one is MobileNet V3 Large. So MobileNet V3 Large, like MobileNet V3 Small, is part of the MobileNet family optimized for lightweight image classification. However, it differs in model size and complexity. MobileNet V3 Large is larger and more complex. offering higher accuracy at the cost of increased computational resources compared to MobileNet V3 small its deeper architecture and larger parameter count make it better suited for tasks requiring finer feature extraction such as classifying detailed cancerous traits in medical images now we'll see the comparison graphs so this is the bar graph comparing accuracy scores of different algorithms in this graph on x axis i have algorithm names and on y axis i have accuracy scores So accuracy measures the overall correctness of predictions showing the percentage of correctly classified instances. This is precision scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have algorithm names and on y axis i have precision scores. Precision measures the accuracy of positive predictions indicating how many predicted positives were actually correct. This is recall scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have algorithm names and on y axis i have recall scores recall measures the ability to identify all relevant instances showing how many actual positives were correctly predicted 
and this is f1 scores comparison graph in this graph on x axis i have algorithm names and on y axis i have f1 scores f1 score combines precision and recall into a single metric balancing accuracy and completeness in predictions so the algorithm which is best performing in all the performance metrics will be used for predictions execution of the project to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files so this is models folder in which i have model files which contain algorithm information these files will be loaded into the project code during runtime to utilize the trained models this is dataset folder in which i have eight different types of cancers images that is ct mri and microscopy images on which we'll train the models this is static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap this is templates folder this folder contains all the html pages used in the project it typically includes files like index.html about.html etc which represent different pages of the website this is app.py file this .py file contains the information related to front end logic it includes code written in python that handles server side operations such as processing user requests interacting with the database and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the html pages this is notebook jupyter source file which contains a combination of code graphs and outputs all in one place it allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science and this is sign up to db file this file is the database file used to store user information so now copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer i'm copying it open anaconda prompt so now use the command cd followed by space and paste the copied path and hit the enter button so this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path now compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py i'm typing python space app.py and hit the enter button so this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address local host and port unless configured differently so this is the local host and this is the port now copy the local link provided by the framework i'm copying it and paste it into any web browser i prefer chrome after pasting it hit the enter button So the home page of the project has been displayed in the browser. This is the front end built using Flask framework. So here we can see a register link. Click on it. So if you are new users, we have to register first. Fill in all these details and click on register button to sign up. And if we already have account, we can directly log in by clicking on this link. So as I already have account, I'm clicking on this link. So here we have to provide a credentials, username and password. and click on login button so it has redirected us to the classification page so now we have to upload any ct mri and microscopy image here and the application will classify the cancer type from the image click on choose file button so from test cases folder we will select any curvix mep image i am selecting this microscopy image and click on open The image is loaded now. Click on Upload button. So here we can see the classification that is Curvix Metaplastic. So the application has correctly classified it as Curvix Metaplastic. We'll try again. Click on Try Again link. Click on Choose File button. So this time we'll upload any Brain Menin image. I'm selecting this one and click on Open. The image is loaded now. Click on Upload button. So here we can see the classification that is Brain Meningioma. so the application has correctly classified it as brain meningioma we'll try again click on try again link click on choose file button so this time we'll upload any kidney normal image i'm giving this image and click on open the image is loaded now click on upload button so here we can see the classification that is kidney normal So similarly we can upload any ct mri and microscopy image and can get the classifications now click on log out so the conclusion here is 
the project successfully demonstrates the effectiveness of ai based deep learning models particularly convolutional neural networks in accurately detecting cancerous traits in medical images through rigorous experimentation and analysis the project showcases the superiority of the proposed models including vgg16 vgg19 densenet201 mobilenet v3 small and mobilenet v3 large over existing methodologies the implementation of transfer learning using pre-trained cnn variants along with learning without forgetting that is lwf techniques enhances model adaptability and mitigates knowledge transfer issues and the exception model extension significantly improves prediction accuracy outperforming all other models in cancer detection by implementing a user friendly interface with flask and incorporating user authentication features the project streamlines the process of cancer detection users can conveniently input medical images which are then processed and classified by the trained deep learning models this seamless interaction significantly contributes to advancements in cancer diagnosis and treatment by providing quick and accurate classifications ultimately improving patient outcomes and healthcare efficiency additionally the project offers healthcare professionals and researchers a tool for swift and precise cancer classifications from medical images streamlining diagnostics and enabling personalized treatments this accessibility fosters equitable healthcare access and enhances patient outcomes contributing significantly to cancer diagnosis and treatment advancements thank you for watching video for more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.